Right, welcome back to my channel. This is a short video about an AM modulator or a very, very short range transmitter actually. Now, this is available from eBay and uh, it comes with a letter here. Enjoy. Please leave feedback. <laughs> And the uh, chap's name is Derek, and uh, there is a link there, but I will put a link in the uh, in the comments below um, for this video. So he says, please read the information attached, and uh, there's quite a comprehensive set of instructions that come with it, and there's a connector for the audio, and it, you, it can be put in either way, so you have to make sure you plug that in the right way but everything else is assembled and uh, there's all these details about the aerials warnings about not connecting it to directly to equipment because you you don't need to basically uh, it even comes with a circuit diagram so it's uh, very well supported and uh, the item itself is here as you see, it's a very simple circuit with two integrated circuits there, a uh, crystal, and uh, runs off a, an ordinary 9 volt battery. And you can plug it in, I've got it plugged into an MP3 player, but you can plug it into anything that will take the uh, coax drug jack there. Or you could connect other items in, um, such as a, I think, I haven't tried it, but you could connect a uh, Bluetooth receiver in there, I would have thought. Um, so anyway, basically you tune in, it's an AM transmitter, you just tune in a vintage radio to the right frequency uh, and uh, you can get the signal transmitted into the radio. So it's a means you can connect anything into these radios without actually altering them at all. It's just working as a normal radio. So I've got it connected and I've got the radio switched on and already warmed up. Um, so if I play something on the MP3, Now basically all you have is an aerial wire, a metre long length of aerial wire which acts as uh, the uh, transmitting aerial. Uh, you don't need to alter that at all, just put it uh, somewhere close to the radio. I've just got it draped up over the front of it there. Um, you move the aerial around a bit to get a better signal and uh, uh, but it works very well and it's uh, a very good way of uh, making good use of a vintage radio where you can actually can't get much on AM these days apart from speech programs um, it does give you a means of, of making more use of these radios and uh, they also the frequency can't be changed and set by changing the crystal um, they're available with different frequencies but this one is for uh, 625 kilohertz which is 479 meters so uh, I've got this dial roughly right I think because that's around where 479 meters should be uh, and it's uh, it's working nice and clearly
Right, okay, there we go. So, very interesting little gadget. Um, and I, I, I was very impressed with it. Very, it uh, worked straight out of the box, basically. Um, might be nice if I use my construction skills to build it into a little box with an on-off switch. Um, but uh, there we are, it's certainly uh, working and doing the business. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.